All right. So go ahead and tell us who you are and uh, how you how you got into this this game. Yeah. Hey, Josh. Uh, my name is Paul Myers. Um, I'm now with Clark Marketing Communications up in North Bay. Um, eight months ago, I was the uh, general manager of uh, North Bay Toyota, and I was there for uh, 19 years. I think the last 15 of those years, always in a management role, uh, working with uh, salespeople, uh, then finished up as the GM of the store. Uh, great times, but it was it was time for a change. So, I guess about uh, you know a little while back, uh, just before that, you know we we're always looking for another way, right? I knew I wanted to kind of wind down uh, the car business because that's a tough business, man. I mean, it's, it's all retail. It's, you know, 12 hours a day, six days a week, um, and you're always striving to hit the next target, and that target always moves. And anyways, that's kind of a bit of my background. Um, so I, I know sales, no problem with sales, but I needed another tool. I needed uh, another skill set, if you will, to kind of, you know, walk away from the car business, replace a pretty big income and, you know, get on with things. So, you know, learning uh, this digital set or digital skill set that, you know, your car offers has really put me in the place to say bye-bye to my job over there and start up with a agency with my brother-in-law uh, at um, our firm. So it's been pretty exciting the last uh, eight months doing this on a full-time basis versus you know, something on a part-time basis. And uh, we're really starting to see some awesome growth and uh, we're having fun. That's the main thing for me was just to get out of there and get some, get something different happening. Sweet. So when you started, you probably started out kind of in the lead generation space, right? Kind of owning your own digital assets. Um, yeah. How did that go for you when you were kicking those off and where, where are you sitting right now with it? Yeah. So the, so the only thing I can say is when we started, um, you know, back two years ago, year ago, building out lead gen sites is probably the best thing I've ever done. So I, I currently have 15 lead gen sites that we rent. Um, of those 15, five of them are rented with clients that bring in 2750 per month, every month, with as little work as you can possibly imagine. I'm literally doing nothing for these guys sites they're all built they're all ranking they're all getting phone calls they're all getting leads the leads are all call tracked emails are tracked so we can prove our roi every single month unlike most other mediums out there and those lead gen properties that we build we own we control they stop making a payment we send the leads somewhere else so in my opinion renting uh, a lead gen site out is the best way for long term long uh, long term gains and security for myself if I own it I control it kind of like a you know uh, buying a property it's the same scenario you own it you control it these things are digital properties these are assets these are massive um, and, and easy to deploy with a heck of a ROI on it so um, you know I've just got uh, I think 10 other ones that I now need to find clients for um, I you know, I think I put them in areas where I should have thought otherwise. I should have put them in maybe in bigger populations. Uh, but that's the learning curve, right, when you're doing this. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, owning it and then renting it uh, is just probably the best thing that I've found over the last little bit. Nice. And so you have other clients as well, right? So you do some Facebook ads for clients. Tell me about some of the other stuff that you do as well. Yeah, so some of the frustrating things that we deal with is uh, – we chase, you know, Facebook ads uh, for different industries, right? From, you know, furniture stores to different retailers, to colleges and universities, to car dealers. And um, that's a lot of work. I tell you, I mean, you're constantly changing the ad sets. You're constantly changing the text. When the ads don't work or, the, or they start to drop off, you've got to kind of, you panic a little bit. You've got to get the leads. You've got to revisit everything. Um, it, it's just, it's, you look, it's, it's part of our business that we, uh, we need and we want, but it's not the ultimate. The ultimate is, you know, learning a skill set where you can actually spend a weekend, build out a digital property, start ranking that digital property, and then selling that. Because once it's ranked, very seldomly do you have to go in and do anything for that site. It, it's just, it's a cash, it's an ATM. It literally is an ATM. And, and my clients on those sites, I look to them, I, I get to hear the, the phone calls coming in. 
I don't listen to all of them anymore because I got a, now I have an understanding of each of those industries and how they work. And uh, I tell you, these guys are happy. They're, they're, they're making money. The ROI return on investment for them is huge. And uh, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's been a few years and they're still paying me for that. So um, going forward, we sort of know the direction that we need to stay focused on. It's this skill set and this course that can take you from where you are now, probably working for somebody else, to where you want to be working for yourself in a short period of time. It's just you got to get in, you got to follow the principles, follow the steps, uh, and and then master that skill set. Uh, but yes, we do chase Facebook stuff, we do chase PPC stuff, pay per click stuff, AdWords stuff. Uh, we do uh, you know funnels. But all of that stuff has to be almost reset monthly and it gets frustrating and it's hard and it's, uh, it's full. That's, it's almost like you've just bought yourself another full-time job. Where <laughs> if you had the lead gen sites and these sites, just you rent them once they're rented and they do the ROI, they start asking you, Hey, can you, can you do one of those for me over here in this city? Yeah. And it's amazing what can happen. So um, that's sort of the back end of that. It's a long answer to, you know, we also do Facebook ads. We do, but it is kind of time consuming and sometimes frustrating. Gotcha. Hey, so you've been in other courses before. What do you think uh, is different about my, my course than most of the courses that you've been through in the past? Yeah, it's probably one of the most actionable courses that I've seen. Um, you know, we haven't even touched on, you've got a complete strategy inside here uh, for LinkedIn. And um, we, we haven't really uh, done much with that. But after watching your strategy, I, I got to jump into that. There's so much potential dealing directly. I mean, where else do you get a business owner's name, email, contact? You can reach out personally. You know, you, you can't normally find that, especially for bigger players on their, face, on their website. But in, on LinkedIn, everything is there. So if, if you follow the steps that you put in the course, it, like, okay, I, I, as I said to you before you started recording, that's something I'm going to dig into because I can see the power of it. There is a lot of good stuff just in that one segment um, of your course uh, is that LinkedIn strategy. I also like there's a sales strategy inside the course as well. It talks about positioning. And uh, I think that's, I got to go back, positioning and listening it's called. I got to go back and listen to that again because I think, I think I have this reversed, two ears, one mouth. I think I do too much talking and not enough listening. And, uh, <laughs> that part right there, I think, um, I think will really help me down the road as well. So there's, this course is huge. I got, there's lots of little segments of this course. And when you finish it all, you kind of walk out. And you feel, you know, you can be, you feel confident. You know you've got the information now to kind of move forward. You're learning a skill set that they're not teaching pretty much anywhere. When I, when I walked into a client the other day, this is about three weeks ago, I was a little intimidated thinking, okay, these guys really know their stuff, so I'm going to have to, so I, I try to poke a little bit, find out who knows what, and I realize they don't know anything. Like, they, they think they're these Facebook gurus, and they think they're these SEO, but they really know nothing. They don't have the skill sets that we've learned through this. So, um, yeah, there, there's a lot of great things inside this course, just outside of you know, building the lead gen property, which is where I think everybody should focus on. You want to own your future. You want to control your future. You want to control your destiny. Uh, but there's so many other facets to it that uh, you, you can you can really build a big skill set from it for sure. Nice. Um, so if uh, you had to give anybody advice jumping into the course, what what would you tell them? Uh, it's like it's like anything. Eh? You. You have to invest in yourself, number one. I mean, if you, if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, you're going to get the same results. Um, you know, I'm in a lot of different courses, and I've paid a lot of money for these courses. And these courses is what, you know, it separates the winners from the losers. It, you have to invest in yourself. So the biggest thing I would say is, you know, take a leap of faith. Here's a guy sitting in front of you that was 24 years, 23 and a half years in the car business the last 20 uh, at a Toyota store uh, that was making some pretty good income with some pretty good perks that just quit that, walked away and jumped into this after learning this skill set. The potential is there. It's just that you have to want to want to. Um, you know, if, there, if there's no desire, um, that this isn't going to work. You've got to watch the information, but then you have to apply the information. It's like anything. You, you, you have to take what you learn and apply it. 
So my biggest thing would be get in, immerse yourself in the training, get into the Facebook group, you know, talk to yourself, talk to these guys and realize that there's a whole nother world online that you can really do very well with. And, and you can basically, if you wanted to, you could be sitting in your underwear doing all this because all you need is a laptop and an internet connection. I know it sounds crazy, but we do that. That's what we do. So, yeah. You're not, you're not wearing your underwear right now, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm fully clothed. <laughs> I'm in our boardroom. Yeah, it's all good. All right, Paul. Thank you very much, man. You're very welcome. We'll, we'll see you in, in the group. All right. Take care. Thank you. All right,